Prosecutors say Kay Baker tried to run for her life during a violent attack that ended in her murder. And now five months later, her accused killer and boyfriend, Matthew Terry, is headed to trial. And the jury may hear from an ex-girlfriend that survived a knife attack from Terry years ago. Terry ended up serving three years in prison for it. As Fox 13's Gloria Gomez shows us now, a judge is now weighing in on that decision. Matthew Terry says he is ready to face a jury. Yes, Your Honor. I'm ready for trial starting on Monday. In May, Terry was arrested and accused of stabbing to death his girlfriend, Kay Baker, while she tried to get away during an argument at their Lithia home. As he heads to trial, he thought he was off the hook on the death penalty after then state attorney Andrew Warren decided not to seek it. But that decision was reversed when Susie Lopez was appointed by the governor after he suspended Warren. The defense immediately accused Lopez of playing politics. A Democratic state attorney makes one decision. 24 hours later, a Republican state attorney makes a different decision. And we're going to say that's not political. How is it possible? In a rare move, Lopez was called to the stand and denied the decision was politically motivated. She said Terry's actions were cruel and heinous. Ms. Baker, as Mr. Diaz had said earlier, was nearly decapitated when the, the knife that Mr. Terry plunged into her throat. But the jury may also hear from Terry's past. Michelle Rogers says she was stabbed, punched, and beaten by Terry while they dated in Michigan. Did the judge eventually sentence Mr. Terry to prison for this case? Yes. But prosecutors say Kay Baker was not as lucky as Rogers, and now a jury will have to decide if Terry killed her, and if he did, whether or not he should pay with his own life. Gloria Gomez, Fox 13 News. Now, Terry's trial begins on Monday, and if he's convicted of the charges, a jury could decide to sentence him to death.